Kamen Games has a title I'd like to bring to your attention. Tiny Epic Galaxies Blast Off by Gamelin Games. This is good for two to four players and uh, should be good for ages nine and up. And the average game will run you 30 to 45 minutes. Or so the publisher says. <laughs> Tiny Epic Galaxies Blast Off is a streamlined successor to the best selling game, Tiny Epic Galaxies. When Tiny Epic Galaxies Blast Off will have you learning and teaching the game faster than ever. Immediately shuffle the planet deck, featuring 100% icon-based abilities. Set them in orbit, and you're on your way. Turns will consist of rolling galaxy dice and executing simple actions that lead to epic play. Tiny Epic Galaxies Blast Off features an off-turn mechanic called Following. This ensures that you will stay engaged and allow for it to always be your turn. Use your actions to create cosmic combos and race to colonize planets. Each planet you colonize brings new abilities to your galaxy and earns you victory points. Acquire the most victory points by the game's end and you'll be crowned the supreme leader of the universe. <laughs> Ooh, who doesn't want that title, huh? Supreme leader of the universe. <laughs> Well, okay, that's what, the, that's what the publisher has to say in their blurb about this title. All right, so now on this channel, you've seen literally every one of the Tiny Epic Games and even the Ultra Tiny Galaxies. Uh, that was just a few weeks ago, actually, for that one. So why don't I have Blast Off yet? Well, it's coming. Don't worry. Not only is this on my radar, but I did want to get this because, honestly, you know, I, I had some Amazon points to spend, and it wasn't that much, and I I really wanted to test this out. So it's coming. So it's it's technically not on my radar anymore. It was on my radar, and now it's on the ship, plane, UPS truck. I don't know. <laughs> it's on the way. But so this is more of why it was on my radar, which led me to purchasing this. So th they say that it's even easier than the original, which I find ridiculously easy to, to teach anyone to play. I, I honestly do. So how do you make something that is ridiculously easy to begin with, something that's already considered, uh, not just by me, but by others, a, a gateway game? How are we gonna, how are we gonna dummy that down? Well, I want to see. I do. I want to see how they dummy this down. How did they nerf it? <laughs> well, we'll get to see that soon enough. Now, looking more into this, I saw that they 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 made this with with, with new gamers in mind. That they were thinking about some way to make this already gateway game more gateway. E, more gatewayer, more gatish. <laughs> so uh, they may have succeeded in that. Uh, I'll have to see for myself well, when the game gets here. But yeah, to so to, to, to specifically, uh, I say dummy down the rules. That sounds like an insult, and I'm sorry. Uh, that's not exactly what I mean. Uh, but by 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 streamlining uh, the, the rules, uh, they hope to bring in a larger market. Uh, to the series, so I, I really am interested to, to see how they how they did this. So I, I also see that they've updated all the art. Now the very first thing I have to say about the art is it is good. It looks good. It is it is well made. It is uh, the, the colors pop. Uh, it has solid line work. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's good artwork. Um, but to me, it's. Uh, well, you know, they say that the game is good for ages 9 and up. And, you know, this looks like something that would be made uh, specifically to try to draw in that 8 or 9 year old uh, audience. And again, like I said from the beginning, uh, you know, don't take it the wrong way. There's nothing wrong with the art. The art is beautiful. It looks nice. It looks good. But it also looks like it's it's there to serve a purpose. 
because uh, the old artwork was beautiful. I had no problem. I don't know anyone that had any problems with the old artwork. So, so this is definitely there to serve a purpose. Again, going back to the whole bringing in a, a new crowd, a younger crowd uh, to play and understand this game. And I think the, the, the art was kind of pushing towards that direction. But again, it looks nice. It looks good to look at. Uh, also notice that there's a new layout on how the cards are, are set up. Um, I never had a problem with the old layout. Everything kind of made sense. But, you know, hey, who knows uh, what, their, what their new angle, their new thought on the way uh, the layout should, should look. You know, I'll have to wait to see if it, if it works. If it works or if it makes a difference at all. Uh, looking at the new artwork, comparing it to the old artwork, it doesn't seem to make a difference to me either way. <laughs> now, something I saw in the rules that did catch my attention for two reasons. One, because it was something from the original version of the game I had contemplated. And two, it caught my attention because it took it way too far. <laughs> and that's the converter rule. See, in the in the original game, you could use any two dice that you otherwise may have thought that you had no purpose for, or whatever your strategy is. You can use any two dice that you have not activated yet and get rid of them in the converter, and they will convert a third unactivated, unused die of yours to, to any face that you want it to. So I always thought that it, sh it shouldn't be three. It shouldn't be that you're, getting, you're changing three dice, uh, getting rid of, uh, you know, two to affect the third. I always thought that it should be you convert these two and you get rid of one of them and the other one gets turned into something that you that you would like. So they've taken it a step further now. Uh, so apparently, yes, it only does take the uh, only takes one die now in the converter, and uh, you also need one resource, either one, your energy, your culture, whatever, uh, one resource and one and one die unused, unactivated. Uh, I think they went a little too far with that. You know, I think uh, I think what I was looking at was like a one step progression. To something a little bit more comfortable and they took that one step and ran a mile with it <laughs> but maybe maybe it works i mean they play tested it right i didn't so uh, i'm not being judge judgy or judgmental or anything but just uh just pointing out i think it went a little too far but we will see when it gets here and i get to play it for all of you now there are a couple of things i i don't think i've ever done this on a gaming radar before uh but there are a couple of things i i, I just wasn't happy with you know um like the fact that there's no secret missions anymore you know and to me it, it goes beyond the, the couple of petty points that those were worth i just simply loved the the whole uh, thematic aspect of it and i i thought it it brought a a deeper level to the gameplay now there's also no solo mode that alone almost made me not get this game. Really? No. You're kidding me. No solo mode. That's one of the things that made the original hot. Yeah. So that I wasn't too happy. And uh, the other one, which I, I guess I wasn't happy about, but it kind of balances between not happy and just, I don't know, neutral. And that was the fact that there was no fifth player. You know? Maybe they're waiting for an expansion because this is not compatible with Beyond the Black. This is not compatible with uh, with that expansion or the mini expansions uh, from the original game uh, because it's all new rule sets. You know, rules have changed. So who knows? Maybe there's an expansion on the way for it that will bring back the fifth player in the solo mode. Fingers, toes, and tails crossed, my friends. But those are all the reasons, including a couple that almost got it off, but those are the reasons that it was on my radar for a while. And uh, when it gets here, you'll see it, I'll play it, and we'll discuss it. And we're also, of course, going to have to discuss the difference between all three of the galaxies. The Ultra, the Tiny, and the blast -offs. But for right now, go, go check up. Do a little research. Look into, you know, go to the reviewers, go to Board Game Geek or wherever you go and, and take a look at Tiny Epic Blastoffs and see what you think.